Lynn, uh, I think we're uh, ready to take a look at some of the exciting new things coming into Wirecast in the new year. Okay, yeah. So we have, uh, I've been talking about our next version of Wirecast, which uh, is been in the works for quite a while now. I'm very anxious to release this version. It's called 15.2. And we're, and a beta is imminent. I was hoping that before this show, we would have a beta out, but we don't quite have it quite polished yet. And so I'm hoping uh, early January, we'll get that out. Uh, we usually have our beta out for about four weeks. And then um, uh, we gather feedback here. I've got uh, my laptop, which is sitting in front of me here, has a uh, 15.2 on it. And this is just a dummy document. I'm bringing it into our main machine via scan converter and NDI scan converter. So, so the first thing I wanted to show is uh, we have a new audio output routing feature. So if, so this is a Wirecast Pro feature. If you open your audio mixer, uh, traditionally in the past, what we've had here is that you have your any live audio sources and then your final mix here on the right. And the final mix, you can assign, if you have Wirecast Pro, you can assign that to a, a track. Uh, otherwise, it's defaulted to track one. And then you can send that out to your uh, default playback device. So what we've added in 15.2 is some new audio output capabilities. So uh, I will click here, add new audio output. This is directly connected to that channel map. So we've added the channel map button here, which gives you a view of all of your sources in your document. So you can see in this document, which is just a dummy document, I have two microphones, a Shure microphone and my MacBook Pro microphone. And then I've got a variety of uh, just move files or audio files here. So and then I can see what tracks all of these microphones and audio sources are assigned to currently. So for example, let's say I have a show where I've got two announcers. I've got one on one microphone, one on another microphone. However, in my, in my talents headphones, I want to only send them the show document stuff. I don't want to send them their own microphones because they're sitting in the same room or sitting right next to each other so they can hear that. They don't need to hear that back in their ears. So I only want to send them what's going on on the show so that they, you know, after a section break, for example, they know that it's time for them to start. So what I might do in that case is track one will be for the producer and that will be my default track that I will send to my system default which is my headphones and I'll send track one and now I've created another output here which is not assigned I will assign that to track two everything here that I have selected for track two will go to the output playback device that I assign here so I'm going to send this to the Thunderbolt device which is connected to the headphones of my talent so now my talent will be hearing what's coming out of track two which is separate from my final mix which is being um, sent out to me and also to the world in my stream um, I could send up set up a separate one uh, that would be maybe track one minus something else that would just be sent to to my own headphones the producer headphones for example so you might have a separate mix that goes out to the world one to the producer and one to the talent that's just a couple of examples of how you might use this so you can set up up to four separate audio playback devices where you're sending out tracks and you can mix and match your channels of audio on the eight available tracks here so that is something that was uh, very highly requested, one of our highest requested features. So um, I'm really looking forward to hearing people's feedback on that. I'd love to have you try it in the beta. And um, yeah, so we're excited to get that out.